I have a suspicion those kinds of jobs are just going the wayside. So you've made a couple videos on, I think, like work-life balance, but also on imposter syndrome. You know, I, I, I kind of want to bring that topic up because it's something a lot of us face. Um, and it's a question that, that we get a lot is, like, are you working all the time? Do you even like your job? Do you like being a data scientist? Yeah. So, um, yeah, can, can you just kind of maybe pepper in a couple thoughts there? So a couple, couple different issues there, right? Number one is the work-life balance, and number two is the imposter syndrome stuff, right? I guess starting with the work-life balance. So just broadly speaking, I think there's two different kinds of jobs out there, right? There's the nine to five type where it's a little bit more time driven, right? You show up at nine, you put in your eight hours, no matter what, you go home at five. I have a suspicion those kinds of jobs are just going the wayside in favor of the more result-oriented job. And certainly millennials like you and me, I think we prefer the results-oriented job where if we need to take off in the middle of the day for a dentist appointment or whatever, that's no problem, but it's all about the results that we deliver. So there may be weeks in which we're working 30 hours. There may be weeks in which we're working 60 hours. It all depends on the, uh, on the actual things that we're, that we're actually delivering. I think by and large, most data science jobs are a lot more results oriented. So that in and of itself gives people a bit more freedom to just be flexible and create their own sort of sort of schedule most of the time. And the other thing I'll say, I think the virus situation that's happened across the world this year, this is going to push a lot more organizations to adopt a working fr the ability to work remotely work from home or work from whatever location that you want that also provides people a lot of a lot more work life balance so you want to work and be home with your uh, with your you know family your kids you can do that you want to not be in the office you want to be at home where you can create more of that balance that's something that you can do and so especially with data science like most data science jobs, I really think, can be done remotely. Obviously, there are going to be exceptions, but I think more of them than not can be done remotely. And so from my own experience, I think work-life balance has been pretty good with the data science jobs that I've had for both of those reasons. Every job that I've had has allowed me to work remotely. That's never been a problem. And it's been a lot more results-oriented. Now, here's what I'll say is the biggest catch. And this is sometimes something which gets me. With data science, you have to continuously, constantly keep learning, right? And, you know, I, I hate to say it, but sometimes that's that can't come completely 100% from your job. You're not at your job to learn. You're there. That That is going to be more of a side effect that happens. But at the end of the day, you're there to, to deliver value. You're there to deliver some kind of results. And everything that you could possibly want to learn, you're not going to learn from your job. That has to bleed a little bit over into your, uh, into your own life. And so you can structure that however you want. You can say, okay, this Christmas break, I'm going to learn a new technology. I'm going to set uh, a Saturday of a weekend aside to do that. Or I'm going to do uh, four hours on like one, one night per week. Like whatever you want to do, it doesn't really matter. But you have to set some time aside to keep co constantly learning. I think that's a really, really good practice. And overall, like as data scientists, if we're not doing that at all, in the very long run, we may be at a bit of a, uh, we may be a bit disadvantaging ourselves.